In this video, I'm going to check if 496 is a perfect number. We say that a number is perfect if uh, sigma n is equals to 2n. And the sigma n there is the sum of divisors of n. To find the sum of divisors of uh, n, we use the formula which says that sigma of p to the power k is equals to 1 plus p plus p squared up to p to the power k, where p there is a prime number, the k there is uh, an integer. If our given number cannot be expressed in that form where we have a prime there, we can use uh, the multiplicative property of uh, the sum of divisors, which says that sigma m times n is equals to sigma m times sigma n if the greatest common divisor of m and n is equals to 1. So in this case, if we look at uh, the 496 there, it is uh, not of the form of a prime, so we try to write it in terms of its uh, prime factors. We have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 31, which we can write as uh, 2 to the power 4 times 31. And the 2 to the power 4 and the 31 here, they are relatively prime, so we can use uh, this multiplicative property. And we have sigma 496 is equals to sigma of 2 to the power 4 times sigma of 31. Now I go on and look at uh, sigma 2 to the power 4 there. Sigma 2 to the power 4, the 2 is a prime number. So we can use this formula here, where the p there will be replacing it with the 2, the k we are replacing it with the 4. So when we are adding there, we'll go up to 2 to the power 4. So we we'll have sigma 2 to the power 4 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 2 squared plus 2 cubed plus 2 to the power 4, which will give us a result of 31. For sigma 31, we can see that the 31 there is a prime. So using this formula here, we'll be having our p is equal to 31. Our k is a 1. So we'll be going up to this part here, 1 plus p. So we we'll have that uh, sigma 31 is equal to 1 plus 31, which gives us a 32. And then I go on and substitute uh, these two values of sigma 2 to the power 4 and sigma 31. Substitute them here and we have uh, 31 times 32, which gives us a 992. Try to factor out a 2 there. We see that uh, that is equal to 2 times 496. So what we are having there is sigma 496 is equal to 2 times 496, which is satisfying this condition here. So we are having sigma n is equal to 2 times n. So in this case, we conclude that 496 is a perfect number.